What is going on, Wolfpack? So, kind of dread making this video, to be honest with you, because the fact that I have to make this means a lot of good people got hurt today, and I hate to see that. Um, you know, everybody gets involved in their own crypto projects for their own reasons, or what they see as potential, or, you know, they like a certain thing, and, you know, that's why they invest, and Suzuki and you, you know, I looked it over when it first came out i didn't i just got a bad vibe man uh i didn't like how the website was put together it looked real amateurish um it looks like something i could buy on GoDaddy and, and just put some stuff in some spots and i call it a website i mean it wasn't something that i felt the need to invest in and, and like i told you guys from the get-go there's projects you can get in the day it launches make a shit ton of money and sell out I'm not gonna be involved in no projects like that. Um, I'm only involved in projects that I believe in and see long-term, they're gonna take care of the people that invested with them early. So, there, there's two things I wanna cover today. One is there's a lot of miscommunication and a lot of misinformation going out right now. Um, so I've spent the last three hours on a, a nice Sunday that I could be out doing, you know, work and landscaping and stuff, researching this to try to better help you guys understand what's going on and so that it doesn't happen to you again. So everybody's saying that, you know, they had a Certec audit and they, they somehow overrid the code and they, they withdrew the, the liquidity and all this. Well, it seems that that's not the, the facts here. It seems what they did is in the telegram, they were telling people, to take tokens from the contract that was liquidity locked and transfer them to another wallet or address because they were doing some kind of change. So I want you to understand something. I don't give a shit who tells you to send your tokens somewhere else. Never, 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 never fucking do it. Don't do it. And that's where they got you. Because they had it locked in the first address so they couldn't do it and as soon as they told all you guys hey you need to transfer it here it wasn't locked no more and they cut you guys straight cut you and like i said man it wasn't something that i thought i wanted to get involved with i didn't like it but a lot of good people, like I said, got hurt, and I'm sorry for that. So I'm going to piggyback on that before I get to my next thing. So today I woke up, and I had 8 million shares of something called ShibaAB.com. Now, being smart as I am, I went on my VPN browser and typed it in to see what exactly it was. No information, no website. It was basically a homepage that said, hey, redeem your AB here, insert wallet address. So basically it's called it's called a dusting scam. So what they do is they they actually pay, I mean, like if you get on Etherscan, they had to pay a gas fee, but they, they randomly or they pinpoint certain addresses. They send you a bunch of tokens. You think you got all these tokens. Maybe somebody accidentally sent them to you. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna cash these out. And as soon as you put in your wallet address, out like a light, they got your ass. So, one, never send protected tokens to another wallet address. I don't give a shit who tells you to do it. Number two, if you get some kind of strange token in your wallet, do not try to open it on a browser. Do not try to redeem it. Do not try to trade it. Do not try to convert it. Nothing. Leave the shit alone. I know it sucks because I open my wallet and the stupid shit's sitting there. Don't mess with it. So, now that we've got over that, there's two more projects that I brought up in this channel prior that I think could actually absolutely be rug pulls. Mononoke and you and Crypto Cowboy Token. I've made videos on them before. Mononoke Inu literally blocks 
and kicks out anybody that has any opinion or ask any questions that they deem as FUD in their telegram. They have a, a, a team that's not docs. They got computer images as their, their fucking team. They could absolutely pull. I'm telling you. I hope they don't because a lot of you are good people and I don't want to see you lose your money. But I'm telling you, that is a very high likelihood that those people, they're not doxxed. The, the token's already plummeting. There's whales and other big name people that have bought in that don't believe in censorship. They're not going to tolerate that shit, so they've sold out already. Do what you want. It's your money. But I'm telling you, I really think that's going to be the next one. And then the other one is Crypto Cowboy Token. It's a bunch of schmucks that literally tell people in the telegram, hey, it's me and my dad. We don't like crypto scams. We're not going to rug pull you. I mean, that's like a, a fucking criminal saying, I'm not going to rob you. Let me in. I don't like them people. I think they're fucking frauds. And I hope, you know, you don't invest in them. Look, there's a difference between legitimate projects and bullshit projects. These people, the crypto cowboy token people, said they were going to have 10,000 holders day one. They were going to be the fastest in crypto history to reach a billion dollar market cap. They said they were going to have all these celebrities and all this other shit. And the last time I checked, because I don't really pay attention to these scrubs, but I think they had like 1,400 holders and they've been out for what, two or three weeks now? That's a far cry from 10,000 and a billion dollar market cap. If people are over promising you shit, you need to really start thinking, guys. Really. Like, Shiro in you, I mean, I'm all in that shit. Like, I trust this project. And if they pull, they're able to pull something, then you got me. But the team's doxxed. The devs, the CEO is in the chat talking to people all the time. They do live AMAs. They locked their liquidity till December of 2022 just to prove a point. Like, hey, we can't touch the liquidity. If your projects aren't doing that, man, you need to like really tread carefully. I know you guys get caught up in the money. Like, oh, I can make a quick buck, man. This, this just launched. They're going to have a, everybody's going to have a fucking game. 50 coins every day. You're going to have a fucking play to earn game. Smarten up, people. Man. Seriously. So, once again, never send coins to a different address. Never open coins that just randomly appear in your wallet. And if the team isn't doxxed and they're not showing their faces and they're not wanting to tell you who they are, and they're literally going out of their way to tell you they're not a scam. You're probably going to get scammed. So, like I said, guys, I'm sorry for all you got, all you that got taken today. I hope you recover. I hope, you know, it doesn't put you in a bad spot. But hopefully it's a lesson that you learned today.